All right, good afternoon, guys. Uh, this is Higgy here, and I am about to record another one of my alter videos. Uh, today, I am moving on to black from the color ply, and as I hinted on last uh, last time, um, I'm going to be doing a heartless summoning because this is a real, real fancy and a uh, nice card. I play it in EDH. Um, plus the yellows and stuff look quite fun to, uh, to paint. Um, so oh, I'm not gonna mess around and, uh, do a load of random, random talking before we start. I'm just gonna jump straight into it because you guys, you guys know, um, it, it takes a little while to paint. It takes a little while to go and I'm, I have a lot of time to, uh, talk to you about things. So I'm gonna talk to you and just start, I think. Um, I'm gonna try not to get in the way of my camera as well. Because I did that last time. And uh, you could see, my, see the top of my head in <laughs> some of it. And that was completely by accident. I didn't mean to. Um, and obviously it's not what you're here to see. So um, while while I've got you here, I'm gonna plug some of the other videos on my channel. I am I have started recording some Minecraft, um, but that requires a lot more editing. So I'm gonna need some more practice with that. Um, but we do still have the. Um, we do still have the EDH for fun. Uh, we've got three episodes up now at the time of this recording. Um, and the last episode was real fun to uh, record. So hopefully you guys enjoy it as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil who won or anything, um, cause I want you to go watch it. And then obviously if you've got, if you've got any, uh, comments or misplays or any of that sort, we can, uh, take it on there. Um, but I think it'll be, uh, It'll be good for you to, uh, oh. um, to to watch those as well. Especially if you're liking my my videos here, um, it's all part of the same. It's all magic. Um, the premise of EDH for fun is to uh, play play EDH, but without having the most OP decks. Uh, so we, we've had some themes, we've done, we've done, what do we do? Corsets, we've done corsets only, we've done Ravnica only, we've done original Elder Dragon Highlander, so, um, original, or any, any of the, uh, Elder Dragons, and we randomly picked from among them, that was our last one, um, Next week, we're planning to do Ikoria. Uh, so, to show off some of the new Ikoria cards, because most people won't have their hands on any Ikoria paper magic yet, um, due to the lockdown. At least at least at the time of recording. Um, so, we're going to play with some of those cards. Um to uh have a uh, go at it have a have a look um at uh what the cards are good are they good are they are they bad are they fun are they you know all that sort and I'm gonna see if any of them are good in edh as well like that's that's our main our main goal, I suppose. Right. 
So this, as you can see here, is another problem with the yellow. I have to put it on quite thick to uh, cover o over the uh, cover over the corners, even after the white. So. Um, there we go. I'll probably need to do another coat. Um, so I don't know quite how I'm going to do this one. I haven't uh, fully decided yet. I'm just laying in some of the base colors. So like the oranges, the yellows, the browns. Um, um, yeah. Uh, I hope you guys have liked my video so far. Um, I know the majority of you probably won't have watched these long ones. And will have maybe just watched the time lapses, and that's also good. Um, I think once I've done gone through the color pie once, I'm going to start putting uh, poles up on the time lapses uh, to be like, all right, next next episode I'm doing a uh, a white card. I will do one of these ones and like link it to the. Uh, link link it into the video so from the people who watched it they've got some uh, some influence on what uh, what I'm painting next I suppose uh, I think that'll be a fun way of doing it because this way I can uh, be like I want to do some of these or like one of this type of video and then all the people actually watching can decide uh, which one I actually do, which I think might be quite cool. Um, so, so there we go. That's that's the outside done now. And already, that's just looking so much nicer than just the straight border. And this this is why I do alters. Because it just makes the card look better. I love the artwork. I love uh, what the artists do. And then just something as simple as this... Um, makes it look worthy makes it all right so i'm just going to go down a bit here um most of this isn't going to be seen because the green of this guy's cloak is going to go to the edge but um i can go over that later i, I want to get this top bit done because the browns and yellows is going to be by far the hardest bit of this altar probably I mean I still haven't decided what's going on at the bottom um, like do I do some wooden floorboards maybe that could be quite tricky um, so there we go I'm trying to match this quite nicely so if I go this way a bit then I'm going to add in some more orange because it needs to be slightly oranger over this side. So look, I'm trying to match this color correctly and I think I'm there. And just going to blend it into this corner and then when it gets here like I'm going to have to start putting in the yellows because this is a much yellower area 
So a couple of my uh, friends who watched the video also messaged me and he said he recommended not lifting up the card mid uh, mid video. So I'm going to try and do that as well. I'm going to just try and keep it on the ground until the very end uh, when I uh, show off the card. Um, because apparently it was coming through a bit distracting and uh, I understand that, especially on like the uh, the time lapses when just like there's like a random bit of me uh, just like shaking up here. Um, okay. And if I do it like a sh so I, I yeah as, as I said I don't know what I'm doing down here I haven't decided yet um, but one once I've got this what are they like shelves in the background? They look kind of like shelves. It's like an alchemist's lab, I suppose. I suppose that was the th what the uh, artist intended. Um, you can see it's actually I've got no sleeves on today um, because we're in the middle of some sort of heat wave apparently here in the UK, uh, and it is truly boiling. Um, like it is so hot at the moment. Um and that's that's just my reason for that. Uh so like I've had I tried to have sleeves on before because um it doesn't look as messy on the videos, but it is just too hot for that today, unfortunately. So Hopefully, um, how am I doing this? Right, because then how about if I go all the way up to here? Um, as I've said in previous videos, uh, yellows are like the trickiest thing to uh, balance the colours for because when you uh, add white, like I added some white to this bit, they don't really go much lighter. There we go. And then I've got whatever that, is that a hook coming out of this zombie? Um, and hopefully I can paint those in just going to the top and it will help help the blending process. Alright, I'm just gonna add a little wash. Cause what I need is a tiny bit of this darker brown. Um so is everyone okay with the uh, frequency I'm putting out these videos? Like I'm doing like one every two or three days at the moment. Um, hopefully that's okay. Um, the like these long videos, I know not a lot of people aren't watching, but um, is that is that good for you guys? Um, if you are watching. The whole thing um, just let me know below in the comments uh, because if you want to if you want shorter videos um, I guess I can like cut out some of the bits and summarize um, I am learning how to do video things so that is possible um,
but yeah, you're just gonna, you're just gonna have to tell me about that one because I can't. Uh, I can't do it unless uh, someone tells me I should be doing something different. I guess. Otherwise, I'm just going to carry on doing this, recording the full videos, and then doing the uh, speed up the time lapse um, for mostly because I enjoy doing them, and they're a lot easier to link, like, or upload onto my uh, Facebook page as well. Um, But, uh, yeah, um, okay, so this is, this is basically black here. Um, so let's see, if I go down to about here, then I can start doing some floorboards, maybe? Do we think do we think floorboards will look nice? Who knows? <laughs> All right. While I'm while it's wet, I'm just going to scratch out that little bit that went over the edge. Okay, so let's work up on this top right corner. Right. I need to make it lighter. I'm going to see if I'm adding some orange to the yellow that I'm using helps before I add the white. Uh, no, it's come out peach. Um, look. Oh, that's that's come out flesh coloured. That's not ideal. I'm not trying to paint any flesh. Um There we go. So I've added some brown in now. I think Do I want it that long? See, the problem is, I don't know how to mix this colour. Because my yellow, the yellow itself isn't the right yellow. Like we can see here, it's, it's definitely not the right yellow. But how do I... Uh, make it that because it's like adding a tiny bit of brown but as soon as i add any brown it's going to go brown and i don't want it brown i want it to be a browny yellow so So that's that seems to be getting there. Um, I am I am gonna add this all the way to the edge because once I find the color, it's just a lot easier for me to do. So if I do this up to about here, does that look, that looks a bit light, so maybe I'll add a tiny bit of white now. Ooh. 
that may be or at least it covers the middle bit quite nicely okay so this is this is tricky guys um sorry if i uh stop talking for a little bit but uh yeah i'm just trying to figure out what uh i need a smaller brush that's what i need for this bit up here Yeah, I'm just going to try and extend some of these up. Uh, just so I can hit like a, a cross beam or something. Because at the moment I've got nothing to frame it. I'm just sort of like painting colors. Right. There we go. So I've got my two cross beams of this one. I suppose there should be another one down here. Because this is going to be like bigger jars and things. Um, I think that makes sense. And then I need one at the top, uh, because that's going to be the top of the shelving system. So if I do it like here, because then this corner can just be uh, like the uprights of the shelving system. We've got um, that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do now, actually, is paint a uh, little bit of chain going up. Because this, this one here looks a lot more brown, whereas this one you can see the grey highlights. It's a little closer. Um, actually, that's helped a lot, because now, I can add in this, a little bit of yellow, so what I'm going to do is up here, add some sort of horizontal line which goes all the way across and then underneath each because now uh, what I can do is um, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna link in a line somewhere here Because then it's like one of the uh, upright struts we've got at the side and then it's coming more into focus this way looks like it's coming a bit closer um, at least I think <laughs> that's that's my interpretation of it anyway All right, that's a bit dark And then I think I'm going to have a little bit of hair poking out here. Um, cause that, I think that will make sense. Um, but other than that, the top left is going to be fairly, fairly simple. 
And then obviously I've got the chain up in this corner, the very corner. Right, what I need, it's almost like I need a green. But a lot of the greens from the paint line I'm using are very overpowering. Um, that's good. That's no, that's that's perfect. Right. So then, because I'm painting over, like th this, this color is the background, and then I'm going to get the lighter, the lighter colors to uh, go around the edges, which will be a couple of layers probably. So blending in towards the the middle. So. Yeah, and as as I've said, uh, painting details is tricky for me. I'm not very good at it. Uh, that's just a fact. Uh, I'm getting better, but um, okay. What I want now. So a little brown, and then I'm just gonna fill in this area, not solid, but like panels almost. So it's gonna look like the top of a uh, uh, top of a wardrobe you know they have those panelings which hides all the sliding mechanisms and stuff or at least that's my aim for these ones um, and then I'll add in a little bit of uh, variation there too so we've got and then we'll have maybe like the one dark line going all the way across which looks good I think um, okay so I'm definitely gonna need to bright this color up though here like what I'm hmm. So here you are seeing the classic problem with my yellow. It's it's a lot more transparent, if that's the correct term, than the browns and things. So it doesn't come through very well. Like I can't just uh, get the yellow and put it on top as easy. I have to do several coats to try and bring the color up. Um which is mildly annoying while trying to keep the videos a bit shorter um, I think that's coming through okay though that's good that is good 
Right, just gonna quickly. Where is this? This is gonna come down to about here. Don't worry, this isn't staying this colour. Um, actually, you can't even see it on the on the camera. Just uh, put a little line down here, so when I do the floorboards, I can uh, actually make a colour that works. Um, because I'm gonna have to do that now, as um, I need this yellows the yellows to dry before I can. Uh, do um, the rest of it. So what I'm gonna do is from about here, here, and then the floorboard will be this big. And hopefully you'll be able to see this on the camera once I've put a bit more colour and definition into it. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to leave a little gap. And then it's probably to about here. Um, is that about right? That is. Okay. All right. So the base for the floorboards it's just a a single uh thick brown line. And then what I'll do with uh, some black, some yellows and stuff, I'll put like a wood grain on it. Because that should look quite good, to be honest. Um, if I can uh, do it well. Um, I haven't actually. I don't think I've ever done anything like actually painting wood grain onto a thing. Um, I think I did a Shu Yun commission, uh, and I think I did like tiles. Um. Yeah, I think this is going to look good. Um, and this top floorboard is going to be slightly darker because it's in the shadow of of the cabinet. There we go. Okay. Time to go back to the windows up at the top which is uh, adding a load of white to yellow and hopefully it comes out of the right colour and let's let's see how we do Okay. 
Okay. So this is a very, very subtle change. But I think it looks good. And you can't really see it, which is a shame. Um, I'm going to have to do another coat uh, so it will actually uh, show up. And hopefully I don't mess up any of my lines. This is always nerve-wracking when you've done something and it looks good but you just need to go over it like perfectly because that's really hard. Right. I'm actually going to do something like this. Okay, so that might be the shelving unit done. Uh, if you're having a look up at the top corner now, and I really want to lift it up. Oh, you know what? He recommended not doing it, but I want to show up so you can see the shelves in that top corner. Uh, sorry, uh. <laughs> Sorry, friend, but uh, I did kind of ignore you, I guess. Um, right. So, I need a grey. Let's see what color the base gray just comes out at. well obviously it's going to come out gray but how uh, it's going to need how do i make how do i make it blonde um oh my godness that's a really awkward color to mix oh, i'm getting a lot of that actually today um so so, all right, I'm going to need some brown back because that's wrong. There we go. Just, uh, I didn't do that. Um, right, so. I need some black. I need some. It's almost green. Maybe some brown. <laughs> nope, that's the wrong color. I can tell that before even painting. There we go, that's... So... Hmm. I think I need a bit more black in there to uh, highlight, because the brown is quite dark, you see.
yeah that looks okay and then for the very tips I need to go the other way and add some white in because of the light reflecting off it um, And then after I've done this, I think I'm gonna cover this entire side in the like the green and stuff, so I'm ready to start highlighting it. Um, There we go, that looks good. Okay. So, where does his shoulder go? His shoulder is all the way up here. That's sort of like this. I mean, it's definitely the wrong colour at the moment. Um, but I mostly just want to color in this side in vaguely the right color because if I do that then it will be a lot easier just to paint in the folds of the uh, robes question mark Right. Right, so oh that's come out a lot greener. But that's okay, I'm just going over the brown. Um So, I'm going to go all the way to the edge of my floorboards. And then I've got this nice green canvas all the way up. So you can now see where it's starting to subtly change colours from uh, one side to the other. It looks a bit better in person. I do need to get a better camera. Um, which is probably going to go on like a birthday wish list. Uh, it's probably the easiest way to go about it. Um... Right, and then this. So this guy. Struggling to get green. And then this bit here needs a bit more brown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then Oh, that looks good. <sighs> so. 
So, awkwardly now, I need to uh, paint in a load of subtle colours. So, on this video, it's not going to look like much is changing. But I assure you, uh, <laughs> there, are there are slight changes happening. Um... And now I've gone too light, which is really awkward because adding in black turns it grey, and I don't want it grey. What I want... It's like a dark cream. Does that even exist? What colour is that? Dark cream. Um, Alright. This bit here is like a brown thing. Which needs a tiny bit of white. to highlight the top. Alright, it's going to need a little more than that. That's better. Excellent. So... So, uh, it's coming along, it's coming along. Uh, next week is red, if I'm going to continue following the colour pie. I think I am, at least for the first, uh, first several I do, so I'm going to go through. Uh, red, what cards could I do in red? Uh, there's some big ones, like... Apex of Power. Um, that could be an interesting uh, card to do. <laughs> um, then I'm just trying to thinking through my Melek deck to see uh, could maybe do something like Volcanic Offering because that looks like a uh, um, thing on fire, doesn't it? It's a forest on fire, I believe, volcanic offering. Um, that, oh, that hasn't made any impact. Um, what else? What other? What other red cards? Obviously, there's like the classics, like lightning bolt, um, which I could do. I know a lot of lightning bolts have been done though. It'd be nice to do something a little more special, unique. Um, um, maybe a Red Planeswalker? Maybe a Chandra? Um, that, that could be interesting to do, actually. Um... I don't know if I particularly want to start with Planeswalkers, though. Um, because they're a lot harder to uh, get good. Um, right, I'm just mixing up a colour here. And apparently shaking up everything. Um, right, 
let's there we go unshake um but yeah if in the comments if there's any card that you particularly want to see um otherwise chances are i'm going to do something simple something i've mentioned um like i don't have like any of the good goblins like goblin guide or anything um and i can't really uh get out and uh buy any new cards uh due to the nature of the lockdown um uh which is unfortunate um But there's there is very little that we can do about the situation until it's uh resolved. Um there we go. I'm just looking at uh pictures of robed figures to help me try and uh figure out what sort of uh colours Oh, and where the folds should be. Because um, clothes are tricky. And I don't really know what I'm doing. So like, because of the light coming here. So this side's going to be lighter. Which is really awkward. Um, so like this colour is probably probably just goes over here but then is that yellow enough I don't think it is see what I mean colors man uh, right Cause like I need I need I need some folds just coming down this side to just slight variations in color where the light bounces off the robe or whatever you're trying to uh, uh whatever you're trying to paint um, and then I think if I put one here because there we go now it looks like this is the sleeve getting pulled up and then here you've got the main body of the robe that's actually come through quite nicely um but yeah i'm i'm still learning i've got uh on my monitor a load of different like painting tutorials and styles uh, i'm slowly working my way through because i don't just want to do uh Uh, what do you call it? I don't just want to do um, environments and just the ex uh, blending of colours just subtly around the outside. I actually want to learn and get better. Uh, and this is the first step of that. Okay, okay I need some more yellows now because I'm starting to do this side. Which is yellower. Yellowier? Is that a word? There we go. That's that's about the right colour. Um, so I'll have a few lines of this yellow. And then... Because it's got light on it, it's, it's warmer, which means I might need some browns instead of greens. Um, ooh. So I've got some. <laughs> I've just got some stripes now. Uh, that looks a bit weird. Uh, okay. 
So I might need some cream actually. Some cream colour. Alright, I know how to do this. I'll get the cream colour in the moment, but I need to uh, get some darker lines going through. Yeah. Because at the moment it's got a green in between where it needs to have like the brown instead because this has got the light on the side and this is tricky right and then if I do this and then really darken it up so this needs to have some sort of shape let's have a little bulge right right And then I probably need a real thin line here that marks the inch start of the clothes. Yeah, that looks okay. Obviously, I do need the cream to bring out the uh, definition of the clothes. Um, so, what we'll do here. It's a bit lighter. And then I think I just need some the tiniest amount of pure black. Just to uh, make some streaks where there is no light at all. And then like... And then right at the start. Because that then brings it out. You can... Uh, where's my bone colour? Um, that's And now now, now it's got like the, the hang dangly bits. Is that... <laughs> the dangly bits? Uh, here I've like robes just coming straight down. Right, and now, now I need to mix in some of this, uh, like a more of a bone colour, I think, because then it matches up here of this guy's coat. Um, yeah, and then it's just going to be some. Uh, detail so I've got to finish up the chains up here uh, then finishing off the floorboards that's gonna take some time All right, that isn't as warm as I was hoping that color would come out as so I dip into the yellow once more add some more yellow there we go see that's perfect that's the right color all right so we are getting there now Right, I'm adding in some some more bone to uh, just differentiate here. Right. 
that looks cool here I don't need to do any flesh while I've got this color I'm just gonna highlight the hairs because uh, at the moment it's looking a bit uh, there we go actually I think that works well right so these trains these chains tra I said trains these chains are going to be a bit trickier so uh, for now I'm just going to get the uh, brown and highlight the just like paint the uh the body of the chain because then i can go over it with the correct colors and uh like here you can see that's clearly not the correct color but um so this one probably comes like up to here so it's going to be something like here um yeah once i've got the shape it will be considerably easier to to color in and make the right color okay so there's that and then that's going to be nearly at the top so this side there's going to be a uh, thing because that's like this coming down I don't know what they're called links I don't know correct words Okay, so I've got the brown. I've now added some green into it because they look kind of like rusted. And I might need a bit of black in there actually, just to darken it a little. Or maybe. That can just be this very outline. Oh, concentration on my face right now. Right, I'm trying not to uh, drag it off the screen. See, it doesn't look quite right. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Um, I think it's just not dark enough in general. So, like, this entire bit has to be darker. Then it needs a little bit of the light on the side where the light is. So like here. It's always the uh, fine details that are tricky to do. Um, because, yeah, they're, it's small. Right, so that has an orange bit, and that's really annoying me. I should finish the chain, but there's this just there's just this bit that's not blended in very nice, and it just looks orange.
Right. That's that done. Right. Right. So there's some light. Oh, there we go. Just that tiny little bit has already made it look a bit more 3D. That's wonderful. Wonderful news. Uh, not that you can really see it at the moment. Um, it's a bit pinky. Maybe if I make that a bit more yellow, that'll look a bit more. Okay, and now I'm on to this final chain. Which just comes up like this. And then I needed some light because at the moment it's looking a bit flat. Um, okay. So. I think we're now looking at just doing the floorboards and this card is done. So I've got the shelves all the way around. I've got a little bit here I need to do so maybe like it's it's like a cabinet area. Um, so you can see some lines coming across where this is. It's like shuffling them all this way. And then the floorboards at the bottom and then this entire card has been finished. Um, so we're just over an hour at the moment. Um, the past few have been about an hour and fifteen to an hour and a half. Um, so we're we're on track to uh, get to the right, uh, rough roughly the right video length. Which is convenient. Like, I'm not uh, specifically choosing cards that are um, going to be this length. I'm picking cards that I want to do, and they're just happening to come through about this length. Uh, which is a little crazy, to be honest. It's just sort of happening. There we go. I'm just neatening up the orange to make it a bit more in line um, over here and then make it a bit more in line over here because I wasn't happy with uh, the blending. So uh, Yeah, hope, hopefully you are uh, liking this. Hopefully this is giving you guys the inspiration to uh, paint as well. Um, I know it's it's tough, but um, it would be nice to see some more painters coming through and doing things. Um, and then just shade that into the brown. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Um, 
yeah, I, I would love to see some of the things that you guys are painting. Um, cause it always inspires me. Like one of my friends, Nathan, who's on the EDH for fun, he's an absolutely incredible painter. Um, like mind bogglingly good. Like it takes him a while, but the, the end result is just so good. Um, he did a, he did a showpiece for, um, we went to a, a Malifaux tournament and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, I painted up this thing real nice. And I was talking to the, uh, the TO afterwards, cause it was like a painting thing where we all submitted, we all submitted a, a thing to be painted. Um, everyone, but one person, uh, said that his was the best one. And the one person I'm assuming was his own vote because it was like a don't vote for your own sort of thing. Um, and yeah, that's that's just the the quality of his painting, I guess. Uh, and there, was, there must have been thirty-ish, maybe more people. Um, who are uh, who are there? Which is mad when you think about it. Um, so yeah, um, I will soon. I am nearly finished my Archeon, and I intend to put up a video of that. I'm gonna make like a little uh, white screen or something um, in the back of my room um, so I can uh, rotate it, take pictures um, and show it off because I am so super happy with just how nice it's come out with the detail and the um, all of the little bits that I've added and it's taken such a long time to do um, I'm just really get, I mean, I'm at the point where I'm really excited to show it off uh, <laughs> um, nearly nearly there okay so now guys I am onto the floorboards and I think what I'm gonna do I'm just I've mixed a darker brown and I'm just gonna uh, just paint a load of lines across and then figure out I might have to uh, have a quick Google of uh, say like oak floorboards because uh, I don't know how accurate these are gonna look <laughs> You know, they've got the grain and everything, but I don't know, I don't know how I'm, uh, doing that, if I'm doing that correct or not, I just couldn't tell you guys. And then obviously these ones here are closer to the camera, so the grain's going to look slightly bigger, probably. Alright. Oops. Right, so um oh, got my window wide open and a nice little breeze just came through. But it's uh blowing my cards and my uh we wa washing my brush all over the place. Right. And then so this is this is tricky. I don't know what 
I'm probably going to have to add some lighter colours in as well. And I'm going to add some like knots. There we go. Okay. And then to make it lighter, I think I'm going to have to use yellow because the white won't really work for it. But then that's not really brown. Maybe I'll add in some of this brown. Alright, let's see. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look much different at all. Hmm. Don't know what I'm doing here, guys. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. So, right here at the edge. Ooh, that's better. Because it goes from dark to light. That is good. And then I'm just going to try and fill in some of the gaps in the middle with just this different color. Um, because it adds to the variation, it adds to the effect, and it just looks a bit more real. Which is obviously what we're going for. Um, Right, I actually want something here, but I don't want it that light. Because this one is in the shadow. Oh, that's actually come out real nice. I like that a lot. All right, guys. I think... I think we're done. Let me just have a look. Let me get my toothpick. The trusty toothpick of doom. And I'm just going to clear up some of the edges where I wasn't the neatest. Like here... Just scratching this out. <laughs> but this has come through quite nice. Right. Actually, I didn't really cut over the edges that badly this time either. Um, so, uh, I will now uh, bring it up to the camera. So there we go, we've got the top, trying to stop the light reflection. And then, look at this nice little oak. How close can I bring it without yeah, like a nice little oak floor. So, uh, yep, yeah, there we go. We have Heartless Summoning uh, completed. There we go. And uh, thank you for watching. And we will, uh, yeah, in a few days' time. Um, I will have decided what red card I want to do. Um, I actually have to look through my collection, you see. <laughs> uh, might end up being something different to than what I've said. It might not. Who knows? Um, but from me, this is Higgy signing out. Uh, see you next week.